Hey Capricorn, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I'm your favorite tarot reader on YouTube. And I am going to be doing your general reading for the month of August 2024. Now I know we're doing things a little bit different because I have taken in the feedback that a lot of you have given me <laughs> as it relates to the content that I'm sharing on this channel. Some of you have said, or actually I should say a lot of you have said that you prefer the face to camera videos. So I'm trying to bring that to you. Also, I wanted to let you know that I go live two times a week. So if this reading is not specific enough for you, you can ask me a question live and I will, I will pull some cards for you. Okay. That happens twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. So um, I usually have them scheduled in advance and you can also uh, ask me questions uh, before the live. Like you can type them in the comments or uh, in the chat. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you'd like to get more personalized uh, information as it relates to uh, your reading. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So for the readings this month, I'm going to be using my Morgan Greer tarot deck. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight tarot. And then I will close out your reading, Capricorn, with a intuitive life coaching oracle card. So what I'm going to do is shuffle the cards and then I will angle the camera down so you can see the cards as I am shuffling. And then um, we'll just go ahead and get right into your juicy reading. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Capricorn, um, August, the first week of August is going to be really good for you. All right, the first card I get is the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles is a card that talks about uh, saving money, holding on to money. In other words, if you are very diligent about saving in August, I think it's going to pay off for you in ways, bigger ways than you even can expect or anticipate. All right. So I'm getting that you need to focus on saving for the month of August. Now, of course, on the surface, this is financial, but is there other ways that you can uh, prepare for something or maybe save something um, that could impact your life in a bigger, better, more profitable way? All right. So think about that. But what I'm getting for you is uh, savings is definitely something that you need to do and focus on. Next, we do have the nine of cups. The nine of cups is a card that literally means um, whatever you want, whatever you're hoping for, wishing for. It's on its way to you. This is the wish card in the deck, one of the more positive cards in the deck. I feel like some of you have been kind of wanting something or uh, maybe trying to attract something. And it looks like August is going to be the time where it's at least something related to that thing is going to show up for you. Again, this happens in that first week of August. Now, we do have the Eight of Swords, and this is a card that talks about uh, self-limiting beliefs. So really examine what you believe is possible for you. All right, Capricorn, because what I'm also picking up is that sometimes you hold yourself back because you either, uh, maybe you don't have confidence, maybe you lack um, some clarity or direction. But again, these are all things that you can work on and you can consciously choose to change as long as you're willing to do that. And sometimes that will take courage. Sometimes it will take practice. But remember, the only limitations really are the ones that we place on ourselves. Now, next up, we got the Knight of Cups. This means somebody shows up to help you. However, it's not exactly what you were hoping for. Now, the Knight of Cups means that uh, you do get some support like I said, but I feel like somebody uh, either under under delivers, <laughs> you know, something. Uh, someone says, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. And then they show up, but then they don't really do what they said they were going to do. Or maybe they do it, but it's not really up to par or up to what you were expecting. All right. But again, this is not anything you did wrong. It's just uh, you now have a more accurate, <laughs> an accurate opinion of someone. Again, this isn't anything you did wrong, but sometimes people are just flaky, and that's what I'm picking up with this card. Next up, we got the Page of Cups, and offer is coming your way that first week of August, Capricorn. Yes, somebody's going to offer you something. Some of you, this may be a job. Some of you, this may be um, money. It may be um, some type of goods or services. It could be anything. All right, but the Page of Cups means somebody is going to offer you something or someone wants to give you something. All right, again, this happens that first week of August. 
And finally, we got the Ace of Swords. This means that you have a temporary breakthrough in some way. I'm feeling like this is health related for a lot of you. In other words, you do make progress in your health wellness journey. However, you may realize that there's more that needs to be done or more that you need to do. All right, so I'm picking up some of you are like eating better, but you also need to add in exercise or I feel like some of you are exercising, but you need to clean up the diet. <laughs> All right, so again, uh, this means that you are making progress, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And this could apply to any, you know, anywhere in our lives. All right, okay, so Capricorn, your month is starting off strong. You've got a lot of good things happening. And it's just a matter of now kind of directing that energy and directing your focus um, in a much more deliberate way. I guess that's the best way to say it. All right, so what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn for the month of August 2024? Wow, another page. You've got a lot of pages in your reading. All right, so first card, we got the Magician. This is always one of my favorite cards because the Magician is a card that talks about alchemy and literally creating whatever the heck it is you want to create because you have everything at your disposal to do so. All right, now we may not be consciously aware of everything, but the thing is, is there's nothing holding you back. You just have to get creative. All right, tap into that creative source, tap into that creative energy, because you really can make a huge success of whatever it is that you're trying to do. All right. The other thing about the Magician card is this is the card of alchemy. Again, using whatever you have at your disposal in order to create exactly the outcome that you desire. All right. Next up, we do have, is this the seven? Yeah, <laughs> seven of pentacles. Some of you are starting to look at new work, a new career. Not that you're ready to jump ship with where you are right now, but this tells me that some of you are considering either changing jobs, changing companies, changing industries, or like I said, totally doing a different career of some sort. Now, the thing is, is like you're finding like you're not necessarily dissatisfied with your current work, but you are looking for something um, that you see yourself doing more long term. And I feel like for some of you, you're bored with your work. Not that you hate it, but you're just bored and you're ready for something different. OK, and there's nothing wrong with changing things up, you know. That's really what life is, a series of changes. <laughs> All right, so next up, we got the two of swords in the reverse. This means you've made a decision, no more procrastination. The other thing about the two of swords is it also means that um, you're ready to commit to someone or something because you have made a decision. All right, so commitment is on the horizon for some of you. This could be in a relationship. This could be you know, as it relates to your business or your investments. But the good thing is, is you're no longer just kind of floating around. You actually do have um, some direction, again, because you've made a choice and you have committed to that choice. Next up, we've got the Knight of Wands. This means somebody's going to help you as it relates to work or your career. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you connect with the mentor or maybe some of you take a class of some sort to kind of help you change directions as it relates to your professional work and or your career. Some of you are going to be going back to school, whatever it is, there's something on the horizon that's going to help you navigate the changes that you are thinking about making, especially as it relates to work and as it relates to whatever it is that you do um, or that you see yourself doing long term to pay the bills. All right. I think a lot of us are kind of looking for something where um, where we can have more options and more freedom. And that's what I'm picking up, uh, you know, with these cards and intuitively for your reading, Capricorn. All right. Finally, we got the Page of Pentacles. This is good news as it relates to money. However, it is temporary because this card is in the reverse. Again, doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that, you know, something amazing happens as it relates to money and finances for you. But it's not something that's going to be permanent. Maybe you get a temporary bonus. Maybe you get, uh, you know, I don't know, anything. All right. But it's still good. It just means that it's not going to be something that will will <laughs> happen forever. All right, Capricorn. So 
I'm getting the sense that it's all about the decisions you're making this month. That's really what the focus is. Because sometimes um, a lot of people won't make decisions and then they just kind of are at the mercy of whatever happens or wh whichever direction the wind blows. But that's not you. See, look, we've got the two of swords again. Remember, we had that card here and it's in the reverse again. So that means you're making decisions. Like I said, confirmation that it's all about decision making. Ooh, and then we got the chariot card. That's one of my favorite cards as it relates to fast moving energy and having multiple things happening at once. All of them good. It's just a matter of where you're going to put your focus. All right, Capricorn. Okay, we talked about the two of swords. This is you committing to a decision. All right, commitment to a decision. That is going to be what brings you the most satisfaction and the most success in the month of August. All right. Next, we got the chariot card. This is one of my favorite cards. This is a card that talks about speed, but it's also a card that talks about things happening very, very quickly and multiple things happening at once. Now, when I see this card in a relationship reading or a relationship question, sometimes this card means that somebody is juggling multiple relationships or multiple people. All right. I'm not picking that up, though, uh, in the context of this reading. What I am picking up is that um, some of you have multiple projects going on. You know, maybe you got something going on at home. Maybe you got something going on at work. Maybe you got something going on in your relationship and you're trying to navigate and balance all of the things. Now, it's not necessarily negative. All of the things could be good and exciting. But remember, we only have so much time in the day. But I do feel like you're going to make progress and things are going to be happening very, very quickly because that's the other thing about um, the chariot card is that it is a powerful driven force. All right. So this is always a good card. Like I said, <laughs> although sometimes in a relationship reading, it could mean other things. Uh, we got the page of swords. This is news and information and announcement about something being stopped or discontinued. I see this card a lot when a bill gets dismissed or a credit card gets paid off. I think I say that all the time. Now, the other thing is um, this is something unexpected because this card is in the reverse. So Capricorn, pay attention to what's happening, what's not happening. Um, but the thing is, is that this is something that's being removed. And I think that this is going to be something that's going to benefit you. It's just going to show up out of the blue. Next up, I've got the page of Pentacles, the page of Pentacles, one of my favorite cards as it relates to money. This means good news on the way as it relates to something money, finance related, could even be investments for some of you. But again, because this card is in the reverse, that means that this is something unexpected, something you were not prepared for. But it puts you in a position to make some new decisions. Remember, uh, August is all about you making decisions, Capricorn. OK, so um, this page of Pentacles, like I said, I feel like this is something where you have an option to make a new decision as it relates to your money. Very interesting. Yes, some of you are going to have to, you're going to have to make a decision and you, you're not really expecting to have to make a decision at this time. That happens in the second half of August, by the way. Finally, we got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card that talks about walking away from something with no hesitation and no regrets. I do feel like some of you are going to be walking away from a relationship. Some of you are going to be walking away from a job. Some of you are just going to be walking away from a circumstance or a situation that you're just fed up with. You know, we can only take so much. <laughs> I feel like some of you are going to be leaving a home. In other words, maybe it's time for you to move out. Maybe it's time for you to, you know, move to a different neighborhood or something like that because you're just fed up. That's the energy I'm getting with this card is that you are fed up Capricorn and you're ready to shift into something different or just move away from the thing that's making you so fed up. All right. Let's see what else shows up for Capricorn. All right. So we talked about choices again. I keep getting that because this really is you making choices, even with the fed upness stuff that we talked about. It's about you making choices and figuring out, you know, what is this going to be like for me? What is this going to, you know, what is this going to indicate for me moving forward? Interesting. Interesting. 
All right, what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn for August 2024? All right, you got some juicy cards here, very juicy, <laughs> very juicy cards. Um, six of Cups. Six of Cups is you reconnecting with someone or something from your past, and this is a beneficial reconnection. All right, this happens at the end of August. All right, so someone from your past shows up or something from your past shows up. Now, this is going to be good and this is going to be beneficial for both you and the person or the thing. Um, so if somebody calls you out of the blue or somebody says, hey, let's get together, you know, let's catch up. Be open to it because there's going to be something that benefits you with this reconnection. All right. Next up, we got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a card that talks about emotional sensitivity. Remember, the Queen of Cups prioritizes her own feelings. And sometimes she has to do that at the expense of someone else's feelings, but that's okay. So remember to prioritize your well-being, your emotional health, your mental health before any anyone else's. All right. Because that's going to be the best course of action for you. And it's probably going to be the healthiest thing that you can do as well. All right. Next up, we got the three of pentacles. Somebody is impressed with what you do and how you do it. Now, the thing with this card is this means that sometimes someone is um, considering reaching out to you for something. Maybe they want to partner with you. Maybe they want to do something with you. Maybe they want to go somewhere with you. Uh, maybe they want to work with you with it, it, you know, in some way because they're very impressed with what you do and how you do it. They see your knowledge, your skill, your talents. All right. The other thing about this card is it means that... Um, you really are probably one of the best at what it is that you do. You know, you're in the top levels of whatever it is you do professionally, you know, because of your skill, your knowledge and all those things. So make sure that you recognize that. All right. Because other people are recognizing that in you. Now we have the strength card. Remember earlier in your reading, I said, I feel like some of you are doing the health thing, but um, there's more that needs to be done. This card is confirming that. This is at the end of August. All right. The strength card in the reverse usually means there's some health things that we need to pay attention to. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to be deathly ill or anything like that, but it just means that, you know, you need to get something checked. Some of you need to go to the dentist. Some of you need to uh, get some blood work done. Some of you need to make an appointment uh, with your, you know, naturopath, your chiropractor, whatever the case may be. Um, because there's more that needs to be done. It's like you're on the right track, but you need to be a little bit more aggressive with this, okay? Especially anything health, you know, health wellness related, all right? Because I always say that, you know, the ultimate wealth really is your health. Finally, we've got the King of Cups. Oh, interesting. I just noticed we have the King and the Queen of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is all about emotional maturity, emotional sensitivity. He's also emotional intelligence. In other words, you're making some solid decisions and you're not allowing your emotions to get in the way of logic for you or um, you're not allowing emotions to cloud your judgment in any way. So this is a really good, powerful card. It means that you have a solid grasp on your feelings. And again, you're not allowing those feelings to lead you in a direction you may not necessarily want to go. All right. So Capricorn, like I said, it's about making decisions, making choices and really committing to those and then following through, you know, all the way. You know, like I said, with the health stuff, it's about, OK, I'm making the decision to make my health a priority. This means I need to make appointments. I need to go see, you know, a doctor. I need to go get tests or whatever the case may be. All right. So it's about making the decision and then doing everything necessary to follow through with that decision. All right. Let's go ahead and close out your reading with a intuitive life coaching oracle card, Capricorn. Oh, you got card number 77. This is generosity. Giving from your heart with no strings attached is what is needed now. All right. This is card number 77. Generosity, giving from your giving from your heart with no strings attached is what is needed now. Sometimes it's hard to give because I feel that way <laughs> a lot of the times, but I do it anyway. And it always benefits me either in that moment or some, you know, at some point later on. So it's something to think about. Card number 77. All right, Capricorn. 
I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, observations, please leave them in the comment section below. Of course, we'll do this all again next month. And please join me for my weekly live streams. It happens Monday and Friday, roughly at about 2.15 Pacific time. All right, friends, thanks so much for spending this time with me, and I will check in with you again really soon.